What's up, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Man, I'm just in my vehicle. You know, it's cold out here in the Northeast, so I got low tire pressure, air pressure. So I'm waiting in this line to get free air at the Wawa's. I see that Alcorn State, they about to uh, change up on their athletic director. Fred McNair pretty much got Joker fired. When he went public with the whole, we don't have athletic trainers, so we can't practice football for a couple days. That made national news. So basically, he got the AD fired. Now, there was other issues with the AD at Alcorn State. You will remember, they didn't play football in the spring, and that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. It rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. So there was, a, there was a couple issues that got the AD fired. Now the AD, so play, not playing the spring football in the spring football league, and now no athletic trainers due to COVID and staffing problems. So and then they end up losing a close game to a FBS school. That was the last straw for Derek Horn. They had to get him up out of it. But yeah, Coach Fred McNair, he helped, yeah, what he said, helped get Joker fired. Now, if they were to beat South Alabama, the FBS school, and quietly hired some athletic trainers, and everything went back to normal, dude might still have his job. But trust me, when that news went worldwide, that all corn couldn't practice because they didn't have no, uh, Athletic trainers? Nah, that made all corn look bad. And then you probably could have beat South Alabama if you had some trainers and you didn't miss some couple days of practice. Nah, that's less straw. But yeah, Fred McNair played a role in getting dude fired. Look, let me talk to you guys later. It's Corner Sports Net. Do not forget to subscribe if y'all haven't sub sub subscribed.